Welcome to Nottingham's National Water Sports Centre, where one world and three European championships are about to be decided as Powerboat GP goes international. I used to The 4S World Championship is fought out over eight rounds at four events, with Nottingham being the grand finale, where the championship is to be decided between the young 17-year-old Italian Alberto Comparato and his Latvian rival Nikita Leitz. While British champion Ben Morse is hoping he can prove he can mix it with the world's best. European and so to the main event, the final rounds of the World Championship for Formula 4S catamarans. And this championship is currently being led by Latvian Nikita Leeds, who, having won the first three races, it's all gone a bit down. Now Alberto is just two points behind you. Yeah. Nikita, what happened in your home race in Latvia? Home race all the time in this place. I don't have luck and uh, in this time was the same and uh, we have some technical problems. And then I crashed the buoy and also cut the penalties and that's why we go down. And now it's very, very, we are very close and it's very hard now and we will fight. How about the course here, Doctor? Do you like the two-point course? It's, it's a, for me, it's the first time in the Great Britain and uh, this course, I, I have he heard about it and uh, it's okay, but and it's a very strong wind and they need to be careful, safe here because we need the points, need to finish, need to be in the top and not to lose at all no, our podium, so. Okay, well, welcome to Britain and the very best of luck for the weekend. Thank you very much. Unlike the European Championships with their four heats, the F4S have just one round each day. And after the first qualifying session, it's Alberto Comparato on pole for the penultimate round of the championship. Alberto. Pole position for a, a very important race. Are you feeling good? Yes, uh, all good. Championship leader Nikita Leitz, despite only qualifying third, remained in a relaxed mood. No worries? Huh? No problems? No problem. While the man that split them, Sweden's Jesper Force, was more concerned with grabbing third in the championship. Uh, I don't know, just to keep Maniewski away. He's in the first spot and I'm in the fourth, so we'll try for him for the podium places. The best of the Brits was, as expected, Ben Morse. Have you changed anything? No, we're going exactly how we were in qualifying. We know it's quite quick setup, so hopefully they'll lose a bit because they would have had a qualifying setup and a race setup. So hopefully we can put ourselves up there on the first lap and see what happens. While well, Sam Whittle was delighted to be fifth, just over a tenth of a second behind Ben. Yeah, I'm really pleased with it. It's going really well this weekend, so hopefully for the first race, see what happens. Ten boats line up for the F4S, last but one race in the World Championships. And Natalie Craddock in 88 gets left on the start grid as the nine other boats disappear. And she now has to play catch up with them. But look at these three. It will be Comparato, who's just out of shot at the moment. Jesper Fors in at 45 and Nikita Leakes as they all charge up towards the first turn. Comparato in at the yellow boat in number seven will arrive at the turn first. And there is the turn boy. He'll trim in now and he'll want to keep it fairly tight. But Jesper Fors in 45 can see the potential of trying to take a much tighter line as the rest of the field. But now negotiate the top turn. So Ben Morse then, we look back from Ben Morse's boat, you can see he is about mid-pack at the moment, qualified in fourth position in actual fact. 
for the race. Side by side then, and there's less than half a boat. <laughs> between these two just before it's on the inside as they arrive at the pit turn and Nikita leaks and this is a good shot as we look up the cockpit then you can see the trim buttons the driver there just adjusting the trim and that uh, works the angle of the engine on the back of the boat to give more lift to get more of the boat out of the water to give it less friction and the faster you will go so already at the early stages of the race it looks like Comparato the race leader has already made a lapping situation with Mark Williams who's way down the pack a very experienced driver in actual fact but struggling today in the F4S. Now Nikita Leeds then currently laying in third position oh he's had a moment and the boat he overcooked it there you see the angle of the engine point pointing in totally the wrong direction and that's cost him a few seconds and now he's going to have to work very very hard to try and salvage that remember he is leading the world championships he won't want to be making mistakes like that Comparato though knows that uh, he is in a very very strong position he can't relax too much because yes before's in 45 is still chasing hard with Nikita Leakes just hanging in there Ben Morse at the moment, he's the leading UK driver, just ahead of Sam Whittle, in actual fact, in boat number 30. Just before then, in 45, in the, the older style Molgard, a little bit different to the one that Ben Morse drives, which is the new one. But uh, it still works for Jesper Fors, as he's chasing this man all the way, number seven, Alberto Comparato from Italy. So Nikita Leakes then will make a couple of final attempts, I think, to try and catch up with Jesper Fors, but Jesper really seems to have the throttle full open. But it's too late, and Alberto Comparato wins the first race. So second then was a strong Jesper Fors, and then it was Nikita Leakes who finishes in third position with Ben Morse heading at the Brits. You, you are now the, the leader of the championship. Yes. So what is the plan for tomorrow, to, to hold back or to go again? Uh, win the race. <laughs> yeah, I was pushing as hard as I could, but it wasn't enough and I didn't want to risk anything. It was very close, but very hard. And no space to, to come in front and in the end make one mistake and the gap was more bigger and after was the finish. So. <laughs> Whilst qualifying for the final round of the Formula 4S World Championship, all went to plan for Italian Championship leader Alberto Camparato. It wasn't such good news for his main rival, Nikita Leitz. I was, we had some problems with the electric, no contact, and now we fix it and we hope that it will work all the race and ho hope, we will, hope we will finish the race and hope we will be on the top. So. Another pole position, so now one more perfect start and fingers crossed. Yes, hope for a race like yesterday. <laughs> So the final round of the World F4S Championships starts here with Alberto Comparato in the pole position spot. A good pull away from him. And what are we watching here? That's all. That's Nikita Leakes. The engine comes to a bit of a stop. Oh, no. And that could be the championship thrown away for Nikita. That's bad news. It's good news for Comparato, though, isn't it? Because he can wander off into the distance knowing that he's not really under any threat whatsoever from Nikita. So they charge up and everyone then round the pit turn. It gets very busy and later on during the Grand Prix it will get very, very rough and choppy there. So Comparato then safely in the lead. Mick Pillow, one of the UK drivers just going through the shot there. And also Natalie Craddock as Nikita passes Natalie. And uh, Natalie actually had to receive some medical care on uh, after the race on Saturday as she was overcome with fumes from her boat. So uh, she's OK now, of course, and safe to race. But uh, let's see then, Nikita trying to get on with the job. And now next on the hit list is Ben Morse. And Nikita takes the inside line, passes Ben Morse on the inside at the turn. A nice turn then hooked up from Nikita. And Ben Morse, Ben who's... Uh, Lacking a little bit of top end pace, really, with the uh, with the new mole guard. Still a tidy drive, though, from Ben Morse in 97. So now Nikita then is working his way. He's in about fourth position now, trying to challenge then on Manuski. Manuski then is just ahead, and now they run down side by side. 
but 79 just in front and Nikita then will be desperate to try and get... <laughs> Just uh, three other boats ahead, then Jesper Fors and uh, Comparato still leading, but he needs to get past Minutsky as uh, we now ride on board. And now we look at him and we see them go head to head down towards the pit turn with Minutsky on the inside. Nikita's going to have to try and drive round the outside or do a textbook manoeuvre of uh, trying to cut through onto the inside, which he does. And this has now put him into good position for the pit turn as they go down towards the pit turn now, side by side action. And Nikita, can he make it stick around the corner? He needs to remember to trim in and not get too excited. But uh, Minuski just seems to be a little bit in front. But look at that. He turns it on a sixpence and Nikita goes through to third. Minuski relegated to fourth position now. But we now look at the race leader, Alberto Comparato. He's had two pole positions, one yesterday and another today. And surely will make it a win, the second win for him over the weekend. So Comparato round the final corner. He can see the chequered flag and he becomes world champion of 2014. A brilliant drive for Comparato. So Comparato winning the 20 lap Grand Prix with Jesper Fors in second position and Minuski actually in third place. Do you have any problems? Were you worried about the boat? No, only in the sun, a little bit. But uh, all is good. The World Championship standings are Comparato, the winner, Nikita Luke's second position in the championships, and Adrian Minutsky third. Ben Morse, the highest place Brit, up to eighth position. Well, that's all from Nottingham. Make sure you join us next time when the Powerboat GP British titles are decided in the final rounds at the Bedford Grand Prix. They do, they level up, they head down towards us for the first of these 20 laps. So, man from Italy. into this two-day or this two-day meeting leading the world championship so really at the moment you have to say that the luck has not been on the side of it so really inspired to win and it's, it's